Well, this is fun. I realized something actually right before I upload this video. That I actually didn't show you how to make this file right here. Well, this is extremely, actually, extremely simplistic. Or easy. Go to right click, or yeah, right click, new, new text document, and then open it up. This is going to go in my first window, of course. Control V to code in. Save, save as, and then put it as whatever you want. Dot B A T. Then change this to all files, not text, and then save. And now, if I can find my mouse, now we have the whatever you want file. Over, then run and do all that thing. And I also forgot to mention that when you run this and have it up, if you press this, the X button there for the Optifine installer menu, it'll just close that out and ask you to close that here. But if you close this, it'll close them both because it's running between each other and yada yada yada. Well, I guess. <laughs> So be added at the front of the video, so sorry for the reverse intro. Well, okay, sorry about that, I had just my mic. But um, here's a simple issue I always end up finding people have, and they always ask me this. And I always end up having to go out and explain it, so I figured I'd make a video about it. But with, say this is the Optifine installer and all that, or whatever, and you'd open it. And a lot of people will set up for modding it, they'll have it open with WinRAR. Then you had an issue with it because blah 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 garbage and it's trying to actually view the internal files of it. Like it will do here. If it will not show up in my first monitor. Those did this, which blah blah blah, not many people will make sense of that. That's just the manifest files and other garbage. But then you'll have a default set up to that and it should be opening as it shows there is a program called Java or Java TM platform SE binary. One way you can fix is um, choose program, have it load its thing in, yeah, Windows 8. I have it open with that or go down options, uh, look for other apps on this PC, and then it would be under J Java J7 bin and it's Java. One way of doing it, or at times if you it will error out and if you have multiple versions of Java like my other computers do, but not this one actually once, it will end up you'll have to change it and all. Like as you see here this is a different version of Java also. And this is actually what I use um for what was it, um bucket servers and I used to host Minecraft servers that it wouldn't load up properly and instead of having to do the right click garbage every single time I just had a file that would do everything for me and make it a lot easier and it would run all nicely from console or whatever CMD well all you really want to do download your file and I for simplicity's sake rename it to that if I can spell Optifine Optifine and done. Just play not Optifine. You can put it in your folder, file, whatever. And then you want to write out this long garbage blah 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 code. But first off, it's here. Program files being I am running on a 64 bit computer is going to be here. If it's not, it's going to just be under program files. So that's a big issue that actually I ran into a little while ago. Then Java or J. There's your Java and I actually have multiple versions on this, I didn't realize that. You want to find out the version you have, and I would say rename and control C to copy the text of it. And then go down here, and it would be under your JDK file. Don't want to copy that at all. And control V, there it's saved, now it's the version I was running on. And then save it because it's telling me it's not saved. And now when I run this, It'll give me terminal view. 
and if it loads up this and now I have them both and it works fine and install it will do its blah 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 and give me there because I don't have 1.8.1 installed and that more or less all that code there is what that little install button is doing and it just it more or less in simplistic terms it's when you run like when you have the issue with the um, bucket running because normally it's not a valid server folder garbage blah 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 and instead of having this uh, little full um, file dot jar file here running from it to the java file like the e exe file when you run minecraft.exe is that more or less the con the control.bat file I have right there it's you click on it and it runs it like that but if you just run it directly it's not gonna see okay open me with blah 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 java from here it's just gonna say okay I'm opening now what do I do and it'll give you the terminal right here that will give you a bunch of lines of code saying blah 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 either your version your minecraft version is not existing because you had an update of java recently and it didn't fix it it'll say yeah a bunch of lines really really fast because it, ha it doesn't have the as it has here pause command which will make it stop unless a user interface does something like say if i cancel it it'll still be here just tell me press any button to continue press it's gone instead of going from here uh... from your dx file down to your bin file to your java it's just running there to your system errors out blah 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 it gives you the message saying it doesn't work this is basically just telling it where to find that little file there of java to run and it's not all that much code blah 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 you may say it's a lot but it works i use it a lot on most things where you can reprogram this to have a variable there and say whatever the name of the file is, you type it in, and then it does it. But then comes in the issue that um, this file, this .exe file, or this bat file, I mean, has to be near or within the same location. So it can't be this is in a, it can't have the one in a folder and the one not. It's going to has to be in the same place. So then that comes into play where it's just easier to do this. Have me do it, run it, and close out, be done. I will have in the description all this code stuff for all of you. Um, I will say you're going to have to sit there and find out which version of Java you have. I will leave it exactly how it is right here. So make sure you notice that before you say something's wrong, please. I tend to get that a lot, but I guess.